Okay, so this is our problem number two for black shear strength. Compute the black shear design and allowable strength of the tension member shown in the figure. The bolts are 16 millimeter uh, diameter bolts and A36 steel is used. Uh, take note ulit natin na uh, ang ginagamit na lamang na namin is isang type of ano, uh, grade ng steel. So pwede pong baguhin rin yan ng inyong professor. So pwede niya pong gawing ano, um, grade 40 or grade 60 or A572. So take note nyo lang po yun. So dapat kabisado nyo pa rin ang FY and FU ng uh, different grade of steel. Okay, so yung member natin ngayon ay plate lamang. So ngayon, uh, yes, ito yung ating ano, connection. So, two-layered uh, connection na tayo ngayon. So, ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng different paths of failure. So, ito yung number one. Okay. Ayan. So, ito po yung number one failure. Or, sa meting letter A. Ayan. Then, ito naman yung letter B. And dalawa siya, magkabilaan. Ito yung letter B. And then, ito naman yung letter C. Kaya akala niya, dalawa lang, no? Meron pa. Ayan. Then, dito. Okay, ito yung ating letter C failure path. Um, hindi rin po natin pwedeng gawin ito. Okay, kasi mamaya sabihin niyo Sir, pwede po ba ito? Yan yung block shear namin. Or, Sir, pwede po ba ito? Or, Sir, pwede po ba ito? Hindi po pwede yan. Kasi kapag yan ang ginawa ninyo, hindi nyo po sinasama itong dalawang uh, bolt na to. So, ibig sabihin, ang maghahati-hati lamang or magdadala lamang sa P is itong apat na to. So, i-divide po natin ng ano to. Uh, or babawas po natin itong dalawa na to doon sa ating P kapag ganun. So, ina kasi natin na ang mag-fail is yung mismong member. Hindi po yung ano, mga bolts po natin. So, ilang best na rin po namin diniscuss yun. So, hindi po pwede yung ganun uh, failure path. Although, pwede. O, pwede naman siya actually in actual. Pero kasi kapag ganun ang ginawa natin under tension member, um, failure na kasi yun sa bolt. So, dapat, ang sinusolve natin dun, dun is yung strength ng bolt. Hindi po strength ng tension member. So, iba pa pong topic yun. Okay? So, dito na muna tayo. Uh, balikan lang natin yung ano? Uh, yung, dia yung effective diameter. So, effective diameter bolt Ah, sorry, effective diameter or effective hole diameter is what? 16 plus 4. So, 20 millimeter diameter. Then, balikan natin ang strength natin sa black shear. So, 0.60 of FU, ANV plus, okay, UBS is uh, multiplied by FU, ANT. So, solve natin. At A, Okay, at failure path A, yung kulay red. Okay, so dalawa yung area natin para sa shear, no? Okay. Again. Okay, so A and V is equivalent to, ilan ba to? So, 35, 70, 70. So, 175. Ilang butas ulit yung minus natin? Dalawang butas, no? Ah, dalawang butas at kalahate. So, 2.5. Multiplied by 20. Then, multiplied by the thickness. Ang thickness ng plate natin ay 13. Then, multiplied by 2. So, 175 minus 2 times, ah, sorry, 2.5 multiplied by 20. Multiplied by 13 times 2. So, 3250 millimeter squared. Okay? Next, yung AGV naman natin. So, 175 na lang yan. Okay, then, multiplied by, okay, uh, 13, multiplied by 2. So, ilan ang AGV? Tanggalin na lang itong butas. Ayan. So, for uh, 4550 millimeter squared. Next, A and T. Okay, ito lang na yung maliit na to. Okay, so ilan yan? 57. 57 minus dalawang butas, no? Ah, sorry. Dalawa natin kalahate. So, isang butas na lang yun. So, minus 20. Then, 
multiplied by 13. So 57 minus 20 times 13. So 481. A millimeter is squared. Ayan. So, uh, solve natin ulit yung ano, 0.60 of FU, A and B. And yung ating 0.60 of FY, A, G, B. So, 0.60, then A, then multiplied by B. Yung A, yung F. Yung F na. So, FU natin is 400. Then, ang B natin dito is 3, 2, 50. Wait lang ha. Divide na pala natin ng ano, ng 1,000 agad. Yan. So, A natin is 400. Ang B natin is 3,250. So, 780 kilo newton. Ito naman, um, 248 and then 4550. Uh, so, 677.04 uh, kilo newton. So, ngayon, um, nag ano tayo? Uh, greater than ulit. So, ibig sabihin, ang kukun natin dito is ito. Okay? Ayan. So, ngayon, at failure A, so, sabi natin ano na lang, P and A, ayan, is equivalent to 677.04 plus UBS is 1.0 multiplied by FU na 400 multiplied by okay? ENT na 481 then divided by 1,000. Ito yung ating nominal strength for failure A. So, 677.04 plus 400 multiplied by 481 over 1,000. So, 869.54. Okay. Um, hindi na kasi natin pwedeng i-compare lang yung mga area dito kasi... Yung area, i-multiply natin ng mga 0.60 eh. Ah, pwede rin actually, no? Ay, hindi kasi ito rin, no? yung AGB. Okay, kaya mas maganda yung strength na mismo yung uh, ipag-compare-compare natin natin. Hindi katulad ng dati, sa different failure paths sa staggered, ang pinag-compare lang natin is yung mga area na kung saan ang kinukuha natin is yung smallest area. So, dito hindi na kasi meron pa tayong AGB na i-compare sa ANV. So, hindi pa pwede, no? So, yun. Mas maganda na ano na nga naman na strength na kagad, okay? So next at failure path B, okay yung kulay blue. Hindi rin po pwedeng isa lang. Kasi parang sinabi mo na rin na nag-fail yung tatlo dito sa baba or kung sa baba naman ang pinipili ninyo, sinabi mo na rin na nag-fail yung tatlo rito sa taas. Okay, so dapat dalawa. Okay, so ngayon kung 57 to ilan to? 127 ang plate natin, then minus 57, then divided by 2, so 35. So, take 35 sila. Okay? So, ngayon, yung ating ANV is actually parehas lang dito. Na? So, 3 to 50. Parehas lang sila. So, 3 to 50 millimeter squared, and yung ating um, AGV is 4550 millimeter squared. So, paras lang sila. Ibig sabihin, yung ating strength dito is yung 0.60 of FYAGV na 677.04 uh, millimeter. Ah, sorry. Uh, 0.04 kilo newton. Ang isosolve na lang natin dito is yung sa tensile um, or sa tension failure path. Okay? So, ANT. So, 35, no? So, 35, then minus kalahati ng 20. Then, multiplied by 13. Then, multiplied by 2. Kasi dalawa. Okay? So, 35 minus 0.5 of 20. Multiplied by 13. Multiplied by 2. So, 650. Millimeter squared. So, masob na natin yung ating PNB. It's equivalent to 677.04 plus 1.0 multiplied by 400 multiplied by 650 over 1,000. So, 
677.04 plus okay 1.0 plus uh, multiplied by 400 multiplied by ano yung area 650 okay then over 1000 so 937.04 Okay, uh, kilo newton. Yan. So next, at failure part C. Asan ba ang C? Yung kulay green, no? Okay, so ito. Na, yan. Pwede rin naman ito. So, para sa naman sila ng sukat. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dyan, yung area sa shear, kalahatiin na lang natin kasi isa lang naman yung ano, uh, area na ginamit sa shear, hindi ba? So yung ating A and V is equivalent to 3, 2, 50 divided by 2. So, 3, 2, 50 divided by 2. So, 1, 6, 2, 5. Millimeter squared. And, ganun din ng ating AGV. Kakalahatiin lang din natin. So, 4, uh, 4550 over 2. So, 2275. Okay? So, ito, kakalahatiin lang din natin yan. Hindi ba? So, ngayon, yung ating 0.60 of FY AGV is equivalent to 677.04 over 2. So, 338.52. So, this is kilo newton. Kaya, masasod na natin yung ops, hindi pa. Kasi sasolve pa natin yung ANT. Okay? So, ANT naman is... Okay, baka natuduling na kayo, ha? At A, at B, and at C. Ayan. So, uh, ANT is... Okay, 57 plus 35. Then, ilan yung ima-minus natin? Isang buo, saka isang kalahate. So, that is 1.5 of 20. Then, multiplied by 13. So, this is A and T. So, 57 plus 35 minus 1.5 of 20. Multiplied by 13. So, 806 millimeter squared. Okay? Kaya, yung ating P and C is equivalent to 338.52 plus 400 multiplied by 1.0 multiplied by 806 multi uh, divided by 1000 so 338.52 plus 400 multiplied by 806 over 1000 so 660.92 kilo newton so shade natin lahat ng ano na mga nominal strength natin. So, this is P and A. This is P and B. And this is P and C. So, ang may pinakamaliit na nominal strength is yung sa P and C. Ibig sabihin, dito mas mabilis na mag-fail yung ating tension member. So, ibig sabihin, yun yung kukunin natin na maximum um, uh, yes, maximum safe value. Therefore, yung ating design strength is equivalent to 660.92 times 0.75. So, 495.69 kilo newton. And yung ating allowable strength is equivalent to okay, uh, divided by 2.0 330.46 kilo newton. Ayan. Okay? Ayan lang siya. Ganyan lang siya kasimple. Check nyo lang lahat ng failure path niya. So, itagdag pa natin. Kung meron pa tayong yielding, then meron pa tayong ano, um, staggered connection. So, dadami talaga yung uh, different types of failure ninyo and different um, strength ninyo. Then, mamili na lamang kayo. Okay? So, this is our problem number 2 for the block shear strength. So, thank you for watching. Bye!